Before we get into the video, I have to tell you about today's video sponsor, and that is Whatnot. I've talked about Whatnot many times on this channel, and for good reason. I always describe it as a site where if eBay met social media, you can interact with different content creators selling merchandise in real time, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, shoes, Funkos, they've literally got everything on the site. And if you sign up using my link, which will be in the description, it's also right here, you get $15 insight credit on your first purchase. Now, I will be streaming there Thursday, March 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be doing a couple of giveaways and I'll be selling a lot of really cool various Yu Gi Oh merchandise that I've collected over the many years of being a Yu Gi Oh collector. Definitely check out the stream. Don't forget to bookmark it and I'll see you then. Huge thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. We've done this for the protagonists, in which Yusaku Fujiki won. We've done it for the girls, in which Serena won. Now granted, Serena not one of the girl leads, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And we've now... And now we are going to do it for the coveted Yu-Gi-Oh! Rivals, the Master Duel Simulator Tournament. Let's check out the competitors. Seto Kaiba, Manjome, Zayn, Jack Atlas, Kaito, Shark, Reiji, and of course, Revolver. I feel like this one flows a lot better than the eight protagonists and eight girl leads because, well, there's like two rivals in GX, two rivals in Zexel, so it worked out perfectly. But the competitors are here. The field is completely loaded. Let's put it into the randomizer and see what the first round matchups are gonna be. All right, so we got our competitors in the bracket. Let's see the first round matchups. Here we go. So Shark is going to take on Kaiba. Jack is going to take on Reiji. Kaito will take on the Kaiser Zane. And Manjome will take on Revolver. I feel like Manjome's deck's probably the weakest, so Revolver probably gets to cakewalk into the final four. But we got to do the duels. We'll see what happens. Make your predictions right now. Let's see who's going to come out the champion of the Rivals tournament now remember master duel 4,000 life points every duel is being simulated by the ai i have no control over these duels i'm just commentating without further ado shark kaiba let's do it so quick insert i did add some cards to certain characters decks this was requested by many of you guys as you felt the older decks just really couldn't stand up to the newer ones which you're absolutely right about so in like manjome's deck i did add the armed dragon thunder support and in Hell Kaiser's deck, I added some Cyber Dragon extra deck monsters that he didn't necessarily use in the anime. Still wanted to keep it balanced, but wanted to make it more fair, as this was a big request a lot of you guys had based on the first two videos. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. Let's begin! All right, not too much cracking right there. Just a, a simple set, and Kaiba's gonna get to work here. Shark? Oh, but Shark's gonna have the defense. Kaiba's got nothing to break over. Shark's got a lot of XZ's monsters he can go into, and here we go. The first XZ's summon of the tournament. Could be quite a few, especially with Akuma Raging. It's number two Shark Drake. Number 32 Shark Drake. I know I said number two. And again, the 4,000 life point. Shark Drake can attack again, and that is just lethal combo. Kaiba's gotta get Blue Eyes on the field. Otherwise, he is blown away by Shark. And oh boy, it's not looking good. It looks like, chat, this is going to be another case of the newer deck beating the older deck. It's pretty typical that we've seen in this tournament. And it looks like it's going to continue on here. And, and Shark could be a Dark Horse. I mean, Shark's deck is pretty decent, honestly. Shark Drake's going to revive. Um, and it's going to bring back, I believe it gets brought back in attack position here. Kaiser Vorse Raider. Um, and, and it's just, yeah. Nothing Kaiba can do here. Shark makes quick work of Kaiba. Now, again, in the anime, I can't picture Kaiba losing to Shark because he's Kaiba, but that's what happens in these tournaments, man. Shark gets the win, kind of the expected win. Jack Atlas, Akaba Reiji. Reiji, one of the favorites. Let's see who Shark's going to face in the semis. Honestly, of all the first-round matchups, I think this is the one I would have wanted to see the most. Jack Atlas, Akaba Reiji, what a mouth-watering matchup this would have been. Two characters that I feel like have pretty similar aura as well to them. Man, it would have just been really, really fun to watch. And again, Akaba Reiji, newer deck, of course, but just going to be one of the favorites because DDD is a very, very, very uh, good deck, especially in comparison. So Jack definitely is going to have 
probably a little bit of trouble here. And look at Reiji off to a crazy start. We're getting Kali Yuga. First turn Kali Yuga. And what is the king? See, this duel would have been so good in the anime. In the Master Duel Simulator. I don't know if Jack's got much of a chance, but we'll see what he can do. So he's going to search for Red Resonator. The rivals are bringing it here. Red Wyvern. And Red Wyvern's just going to pop. And Red Wyvern has just turned this duel around for Jack Atlas. Akuma Reiji, though, is, of course, going to be able to fusion. That DDD spell card is just really, really good. And that is probably going to be it. Yeah, Jack Atlas. Hey, Oh, wait. Oh, not over yet. Not over yet. Oh, no, it might be. Oh, half shot. That's going to do half damage. Okay, Jack Atlas has survived the finishing blow but what can he do here if he can get a red wyvern out another red wyvern dude he might be in shape ah nothing to do he could have i feel like danced a little bit with the resonators ragey's gonna take damage but yeah oh jack if he just summoned a monster with a little bit of defense it would have been okay akaba ragey's gonna get the win jack atlas put up a decent fight against probably the best deck or maybe Second best deck in this tournament. Akaba Reiji is your winner. He will take on Shark in the semifinals. Next up, we got Kaito versus Hellkaiser Zayn. Galaxy Eyes versus Cyber Dragons. Two beautiful, popular dragon archetypes. And we'll see if Zayn can pull off the upset. I feel like it's just an upset for any of the older decks going up against the newer decks. Not a bad start there. I don't know what... Oh, it worked out. I don't know why he attacked a defense. He's... Could you imagine, dude, Zane pulls this off? I don't know. He super risky attacking a defense position monster with a monster with 100 attack, but it worked. Blue Eyes is known as Brick Eyes, but this time it is Galaxy Eyes that has completely bricked. Unbelievable. That's our first, I feel, really big upset of the tournament. Kaito is out. Galaxy Eyes done. Bricked. And Zayn is moving on to the semis. Will he face Manjome, his GX counterpart? Not if Revolver can say anything about it. Revolver and Reiji, those were the two favorites it seemed a lot of people in my chat thought about when thinking about the rivals. The two, of course, most recent decks. Maybe the two best decks in this tournament. And Manjome is really going to be up against it. And Boot Sector Launch... I'll we'll see. I mean, it's not a bad start with the Armed Dragon in hand. Armed? Okay. I mean, this is crazy. Level 10 right off the bat. Level 10 right off the bat. Revolver's going to have to deal with this, man. But Revolver's, especially with that Boot Sector launch, Revolver's got a lot of gas, dude. He is cooking with a lot of gas. Will we see the Link Climb? Arm no, he's going to negate it. Good negate there by Armed Dragon. Or it, it destroys. It doesn't negate. That's it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This might actually happen, dude. This might actually happen. Man, Joe may, may pull off the upset of a lifetime. Revolver's got to do something. Otherwise, he is done, dude. This is crazy. Let's see if there's anything he can do. That's game. That is game, dude. Man, Joe may got level 10 out and just sat up. Oh, it's not game yet. That's it, dude. That is it. Unless there's a trap here that is going to save Revolver, and there is not. Man, Jome has just pulled off maybe the shock of this entire circuit so far. Protagonist, girl lead, and rivals. And much to my bane, by the way, Chaz it up. Man, Jome Thunder has just defeated Revolver in the first round. And we have an all-GX semifinals between Zayn and Man, Jome. Kai, uh, Shark, excuse me, and Ragey are on the other side of it. Unbelievable. All right, who gets to the finals? Revolver was a huge favorite, man. Vrain's era deck, and Manjome just got level 10 out on the field first turn, dude, and just controlled the entire duel. That is unbelievable. Let's see if Akaba Ragey can take down Shark. This has been a tournament filled with upsets, and Shark... Okay, ragey has got a, um, a trap set up, contract change. Attack is going to go through here, though. The attack goes through, and Shark... Okay, Shark leaves his board empty. Interesting. Akaba Reiji might be able to punish him for that, unless he's... Oh, that's the card, man. Sw uh, dark contract with the Swamp King, man. That is just the card that is lethal. And what a mistake 
on Sharks and Shark got way too cocky, left his board wide open, and Akiba Reiji said, thank you very much, boom, and he just punched right through the waters, eliminating Shark OTK. Too cocky there, Shark. Reiji is moving on to the finals, massive favorite in this tournament, and now we've got our GX semis between <laughs> Zayn and Manjome. Unbelievable. You can hear the fans, right? You can hear the fans. They want Chaz. And we'll see if Chaz's journey comes to an end here. If it's just getting started. Decent starting hand for Zane. Because again, he can just summon Cyber Dragon here. I'm sure that's what we're going to see. Cyber Dragon. Exploder Dragon also gets summoned. Okay, well, we've got the Ojama. Manga Chaz beat Jaden. Oh, limiter removal. Unbelievable. Such a simple yet effective combo in the anime. Zane. Just brushes his hands and says, yeah, I'll see you later. Quick work of Manjome. Got to give Manjome credit, though, making the finals or the final four. Beating one of the favorites. Zayn, you're moving on. And we got Zayn versus Reiji. What a freaking matchup in the finals. I'm nervous, man. If a GX character wins this, that would be insane. But we've got him in the final. Zayn making all the Cyber Dragon fans. There's certainly a lot. There's certainly, there's certainly a lot of them out there. Very proud. And we'll see if Zane is going to be able to pull off the impossible. Akuma Reiji starting with a Dark Contract card. And again, the DDD deck you felt Revolver might be able to stop him. Wasn't happening here. Can Cyber Dragons stop him? Cyber Dark Cannon going to get sent to the dr grave. We're going to add Horn. He's got Polly. I don't know if he'll be able to fuse Horn. All right, Horn's just going to attack. Ragey. Now, you got to remember, some of these Ragey cards that do 1,000 points of damage in the standby phase are really going to hurt um, in a duel like this where there's not a lot of turns. So, Zayn is future fusion. Zayn is uh, in decent spot right now. Ragey down to 2,400, but this is where Akiba Ragey, you feel, needs to just go on the offensive. He does... Oh, and Necro Slime, just such a good card. Going to fuse from the hand into Flame King High Guinness. And this is where Reiji's deck just cooks, man. It just absolutely cooks. Wave King Caesar, and again, he's the only duelist in this tournament that mastered all of the mechanics, utilized all of the mechanics, and Akaba Reiji might have the win here. We'll see what's going to happen. He's going to be able to negate with King Guinness. I feel like this is over. I feel like this duel's over. Boom. Cyber Dark Horn is still out there. Limiter removal, but he's got to have a trap. I don't know if Zane has a trap that can stop it. He does not. And Akaba Reiji takes his rightful throne as the winner of the Rivals Tournament. Zane, unfortunately, not enough to deal with when it came to the DDD Master. And it's fitting, right, that the character who knows all of the mechanics would actually win this tournament but man we had a lot of shocks we had a lot of surprises i feel like this tournament um was very surprising because man joe may beat revolver which is shocking a gx deck beating of reigns deck but reiji was one of the favorites i feel like he probably was the favorite and he did end up um taking care of business and getting to the finals and of course winning so the winners have been a Vrain's character with Yusaku and then two arc 5 characters Serena and Akaba Reiji still have to do for best friends still have to do it for antagonists as well I'll figure out what antagonists I want to use um, and then we're going to do the circuits for each show you know the 8 or 16 strongest characters in Duel Monsters GX do it for each series um, so we still got some ideas left for this series but let me know your thoughts on the winner hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any uh thoughts or suggestions for other tournaments you'd like to see please let me know thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have an amazing day take care guys